Whoa! This upcoming info is so huge that it's, uh, huge! <laughs> Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am, and I'm coming at you once again with an exciting news topic. Hey, at this point, when am I ever not, right? We've been having a string of good luck, except when Sony's involved. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and all that other YouTube stuff. Okay everyone, a huge game has dropped on the PS Vita this month that I just can't help but talk about. It should be illegal for me to be this giddy. Maybe in some countries it is. It's so huge that it's, a uh, huge. Wait, did I already say that? And I would love to know if you're excited to play this game I am about to talk about. Please let me know down in the comment section. So, what game am I about to talk about? Well, let's start that discussion up. PS Vita release, The Conduit, HD by The Flow, and Rin, an official port, because thanks Sony, has launched on the PS Vita. Seemingly out of nowhere, I had no idea that this game was even in development for the Vita, or was being uh, ported to the PS Vita. I guess it's the same thing, right? And while I'm trying to figure that out, let's continue. They just never stop. <laughs> they must be talking about The Flow and Rin. The Flow and Rin, oh look at that, they were have released a PS Vita port of the Conduit a few days ago. This is yet another Android port straight to Vita using the Flow's wrapper, a mechanism, if you will, that allows to use Android apps natively on the PS Vita without emulation, allowing for impressive performances. Well, I don't know about you all, but I certainly am impressed. Color me impressed? Thanks to this system, we've seen other great releases recently, including Mass Effect Infiltrator, Dead Space, Fahrenheit, Crazy Taxi, Rock Stars Bully and GTA San Andreas, you know, when they're uh, not facing legal issues, or giving us terrible buggy HD ports, the Anomaly series, as well as Final Fantasy ports by Rin and Frangar. Oh, and guys, wait until you hear this one. Just a few months ago, Rin had shared that we had crossed the line of 30 Android games ported to PS Vita. We are now above 40. Yes, an extra 10 just in the span of a few months. That's pretty insane, especially when you take into account that they are pretty high quality titles. I mean, what other game system allows you to run over hookers at your leisure? Well, actually, a lot of platforms do that these days now, don't they? Now, for anyone out there who is interested in the history of this game and doesn't just want to, you know, blow everything to smithereens, does anybody even say smithereens anymore? Just what is the Conduit HD for PS Vita? That's the money question. The Conduit was originally a first-person shooter developed for the Wii. Its HD version was released for Android and the NVIDIA Tegra in 2013, which, at this point, we got to assume is what made this port possible. See, Sony, the PS Vita was capable of much more than you originally anticipated back then, even by today's standards. But that's a dead horse that's been beaten enough to the ground, I guess. Still always fun to poke at it, though. This PS Vita port requires the original game's files from the README. This is a wrapper slash port of the Conduit HD for the PS Vita. The port works by loading the official Android ARM V7 executable in memory, resolving its imports with native functions and patching it in order to properly run. By doing so, it's basically as if we emulate a minimalistic Android environment in which we run natively the executable as is. And of course, for all you lovely people out there who want to know how to install said game on your PS Vita, and you know, who don't want to take a nap while I attempt to fairly explain that, which, as this website has a disclaimer, it goes without saying, but you will need a hacked PS Vita in order to run said game, I will have a link to this information down in the video description. Now, the Conduit HD. I've actually had a chance to play this game before. Well, at least on the good old Wii anyway. So here are my thoughts on this particular game, which probably no doubt means that everybody's gonna disagree with me. So I will say something right off the bat here. If you're expecting a title that's just going to instantly blow your mind with its mechanics and offer up something that has never ever been seen before in a first person title, which yeah, did I mention this is in fact an FPS shooter? I guess that was pretty obvious. Well, you probably might want to look elsewhere because even by 2000, 2013 standards, this game was by no way breaking the mold here. Come to think of it, I guess it does share some similarities with this channel. However, that doesn't mean it's not a solid shooter because this one absolutely is. I mean, after all, it doesn't have to break the mold in order to be a solid shooter, am I right? You play as a very dapper chap named Agent Ford, who comes from a long line of other characters that are generically named Agent Ford, and you are working for a top secret organization. Now the storyline here, which also involves government conspiracies and whatnot, because of course it has to in a game like this, which for some reason 
please and give me some very hefty perfect dark themes here. Oh man, now there's a game that really brings on the nostalgia for me. Come on, Microsoft, let Rare do something with their IPs. Now to go along with this whole government style storyline, you'll be treated to a very hefty and well presented voice acting from actual actors who are good at pronouncing words, unlike uh, well, you know. And the tale for what it is, is pretty engrossing while it lasts at least. Though I will say that the ending does happen kind of abruptly, which might be a both a positive or negative depending on what you're expecting from an FPS storyline. I mean, if you're looking for something a little bit more than just shooting a bunch of dudes, which you know, I'm not, so it didn't really bother me. Now, as far as the controls are concerned, oh man, are they ever buttery smooth. And what I especially like about the conduit is that it features additional settings that allows you to do the whole horizontal or vertical aspect, as well as have dead zone, turn speed, running speed, transparency, and more. This is a title that absolutely gives you a ton of freedom when it comes to its settings, and you will be able to tailor to your own specific preference. Now again, comparing this to other titles that we have currently on the PS Vita, both official and unofficial, this is a welcome dream for our platform. However, if you are a seasoned FPS shooter veteran out there, and are expecting this to, you know, be something that's just going to totally set the world on fire, well, it won't. It's just a little campfire. Even by 2013 standards, again, it wasn't really groundbreaking. But fun this game is, and if you are in fact an FPS shooter fan, you will no doubt find it a satisfying experience. And hey, now we'll be able to take it on the go with us on a traditional handheld unit. And basically go on a genocide spree. Let the good times roll. So everyone, I would love to know, are you excited about this release? Have you ever heard of The Conduit before? Have you played any of the other versions of this game? Or will this be your first for a way, not sure why it was so hard for me to say that word, into the game via the Vita? I would love to know down in the comments section below. And as always, follow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous Patreon and YouTube membership supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Buzz Saiyan, Hector Gonzalez, Franz Hartle, Chris Foxhound, Rizal Pliskin, Kayonko, Aridri, Jimmy Gilby, 1488 Dental, That Bro, No Good, Azumara, Von M. Hermasio, Lacerated87, Nintendo Switch at 2am, Eric DeWitt, Neo Arashi, Donut Valley, Tasha Monty, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Ricardo Martinez, Mazgus, PSP Guru, Matt Fox, Cham Plow, Saban Fire, Jamie, Reiko Star, Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Adam Sondi, Claymer Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, PS Vita S, VG Legends, Kyle Brooks, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Joseph Shavak, Kevin Enright, Pat Nose D, Jale, Heston Joseph, Thomas Cromet, H Hitter, Crazy Cat, Adam Thury, Wendy K, Michael O'Connor, Rodrigo Vera, Skosher Tugel TCG, David Ray, Worthorga, Randy Azudech, Meshuga360, Zacredo, Samai241, Alan Iwazuk, Airkick72, Shin Snake, Jonathan Jarrett, and Mackie Curry. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. Oh, and one other thing I probably should have mentioned about the Conduit HD is that now that we have it on the Vita, we don't have to use those awful nunchuck controllers anymore. Don't get me wrong, I love the Wii, but I was not a fan of those controllers. Hit my head way too many times back then. The doctor said I might have permanent brain damage.